everyone, Bethany here. I'm very excited that you've decided to stop by today because I have a awesome subscription box for you today. It is called Knowledge Crates. You may have seen me open this box on this channel before. Last year I shared their winter box, which I will put up here if you're interested in seeing that. This one is their most recent spring box. I'm going to do an overhead unboxing of this box so you can see everything up close. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about the box. So this is a quarterly subscription box. So they have four boxes a year, one for each season. And then they have two boxes to choose from. They have the preschool crate and the school age crate. This one right here is the preschool crate. And the one I did last year was the school aged crate, so you can kind of compare and contrast the two of them. Now this is an educational subscription box. It is jam packed full of activities, it has everything you need to do the activities. So it has glue, um, crayons, paper, everything's cut for you, all the supplies that you need to do all the activities in the box. And each box has 18 224 activities inside, which is insane. This box is heavy, <laughs> is jam-packed, um, and also comes with four to five books. Um, so for the preschool age, it's all picture books. And for the school age, I think you get some picture books and some chapter books. But one book didn't even fit in the box, and that one came separately, kind of bubble wrapped underneath. That just shows how much is it really in here. Now, I am a homeschool family, or we are a homeschool family. Um, I've been homeschooling for 10 years. This box is perfect for homeschoolers. It's a great way to um, have the kids learn and have fun at the same time. Now I'll have more information on this box in my blog post, which you can find down in the description box. And if you use the code, the booktastic mom, you can get 15% off any of the knowledge crates. So and that includes the subscription, the mini crates, holiday crates, and also use the special link that is down in the description box. So are you guys ready to see all that's inside the box? Well, let's go. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what is inside. But first, there was um, a book that did not fit in the box. So we'll open that first. And it's called The Worrysaurus. And here are a few pages in this book. Now let's open up this box that is so heavy and so stuffed full. They always have such a beautiful presentation on the front. And on top we have the activity guide for preschool. This gives you all the different activities and how to do them. Not going to show this just yet because it will spoil everything in the box. And then we have another book. We have Super Manny Cleans Up. And here are a few pages in this book. The ocean is kind of a big deal. And here are a few pages in this one. We have How the Crayons Save the Earth. So I'm guessing this has a earth theme or keeping earth theme, keeping earth clean theme. So we have garbage and recycling. A few pages in here, all different ways that you can recycle. And here are all the supplies for all the activities. We'll start on top here. We have pastel to paint kit. And let me look in here and find what that is. In this activity is you're going to draw a pastel earth. And here are all the supplies you need. It looks like we have a cotton ball, a little paint container that has some kind of liquid inside. We have a little piece of black pastel and we have the stars. And then we have this bag for the oil, ocean oil spill kit. 
let's find that activity here this is where you're going to create an oil spill and it's going to show how hard it is to actually clean it up so we have this black oil inside some paint some little wooden tweezers a wooden spoon cotton balls oh some of these um magic beads that when water hits them they blow up so this is going to be a lot of fun my um two younger girls love sensory activities okay, next we have earth day oh black not sure if that is how you say that okay so that's this activity here where you use paint water and cornstarch to make your very own earth this is very cool and there's also extension activities for all the activities that kind of go more in depth. So this talks about Sir Isaac Newton. Okay, next we have some loose parts. Looks like we have some bottle caps here, different kinds, metal ones, plastic ones, and pull tabs for soda cans. And those are to be used for this recycled art project here. Um, well, there's two different ones, a sea turtle and an octopus. We could use that supplies along with some other things that come in this box. And then we have a materials bag where we have a dry erase marker, a paintbrush, glue. Guys, this box has everything you need to complete all the projects. We have this really cool pencil that's made um, out of a stick. So we have bark, has real bark on it. That is pretty neat. We have paints here, white, green, and blue that are needed for some of the activities. We have this cup. And bonus art materials. We have some stickers. Oh, Earth Day is April 22nd. So I'm guessing this is a whole Earth Day themed box here then we have this this is earth day planting and we have a ceramic pot and a little plastic cup with an earth and it looks like some kind of paper in here or dirt i think probably when you add water it will activate oh and right here we have the earth day planting um, it shows you how you can grow um, your seeds and that they'll bloom into wildflowers. That's super pretty And next we have a fun Game from learning resources. Let me get this open. Okay, so inside here. We have all kinds of Popcorn pieces we have letters of the alphabet on them. It looks like you have uppercase and lowercase um but there's all kinds of different games that you could play with these. My daughter, my youngest daughter, will get a lot of use out of this. Okay, next we have a pine cone bird feeder project here. We actually made some um, bird feeders this winter. I did a video about that um, probably a month or two ago um, where we mixed bird feed with coconut oil and made different shapes and that was a lot of fun and this one let's look in the book so in this one we're going to use peanut butter to attach the seed to the pine cone that's going to be so much fun and here are all the play-doh accessories to go inside the sensory bin so we have some green and white gems and this is very cool it's a little recycling bin and we have some soda bottles that we can recycle. And we have some little pen people. These could be the people that recycle. Okay, next we have this plastic boat. And we have some animals here. We have a whale. Looks like some sharks. We have a hammerhead shark, a penguin, a turtle. Let's see if these go together. Oh, here we go. The boat goes with the oil spill activity that I talked about earlier. And the figures go with uh, endangered marine animal fact cards. So these animals are all endangered species. So we will try to find those in a minute. Okay, next we have a paper earth collage. 
And it looks like we have some black, thick, sparkly paper, some blue and green construction paper. I'm not gonna totally unroll it here. And here is the Paper Earth collage that you're gonna do with the black paper, construction paper, to make a collage. Next we have some oil pastels that go with this pastel printmaking activity here. Some paper bags for a recycling challenge, which is here, so it looks like a fun I spy activity that you can do. A math journal, I can identify and write numerals. So this is just a handwriting book to practice numbers. This will be great for my youngest daughter. And here are those endangered species cards. We have the sea turtle, sawfish, sawfish, penguin, blue whale, and great hammerhead. So we have some fun facts about them. Next we have some spring shapes. We have a ladybug, turtle, looks like um, some kind of caterpillar, butterfly, and bee. And that is to go with this activity here where you're going to paint or use your oil pastels. Here are some spring finger plays and songs that you can do to go along with the activities. And then we have some of the games. Here's some math where you count each item and write your answer on the line below with the dry erase marker. Here we have litter hunt. So you're gonna go on a hunt for litter outside and all the things that you can find on your street or in the local park. Here is some paper for the pastel to paint project. Here is the paper for the pastel printmaking. So guys, like I said earlier, everything is included in the box. You don't need to purchase hardly anything um, or anything at all to use it. And last, we have a two-sided dry erase board for practicing handwriting. So that is all the things that are included in this preschool crate from Knowledge Crate. This box is absolutely amazing. They give you so many activities, cover so many different school subjects. As a homeschool mom, it really kind of takes a load off of planning and thinking of all the different things that you can do for all the different subjects. I love that this box has a theme all about cleaning up our environment and how important that is and to keep God's world as clean as possible. My daughter is super excited to do all these projects and I think that it's gonna keep us busy for the rest of spring. And like I said earlier, use the code THEBOOKTASTICMOM and that will give you 15% off your first box. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that bell. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, Bye. everyone.